What is up, everybody? Welcome to another rainy day in Jacksonville. I guess we should probably start getting used to this. My name is Sir MC Coy. Welcome back to the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. Yep, 87, windy and rainy. I'm not sure this is a beautiful day or not. Today we have an interesting one. Mike Tomlin facing the coach that he replaced in Pittsburgh, Bill Cowher. Who's got this Jaguars team off to a 3-1 start. They have not lost a game since the ugly season opener to the Philadelphia Eagles. And now let's see if we can beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Bill Cowher would love to beat this team. He knows a lot about this team, but a lot has changed since 2006 when he left. Out comes Blake Bortles. He's been getting better and better week by week. He now has five touchdowns, five interceptions, and 779 yards through the air. He will start this offense. On second down and 10, we go hand it off to Toby Gerhardt. He sheds through one tackle and gets about six. He has a great ability to almost break the first point of contact almost every time. Toby Gerhardt's strong point right there. It's third down and four. Now Bortles with all the time in the world. And are you kidding? Will Tuafuo just dropped it. I swear I say his name differently every week. And now, well, lucky for us, we will not be facing Ben Roethlisberger. Bruce Gradkowski comes in as Roethlisberger has a broken thumb. I think we all know that real life Roethlisberger would play through that. But this is Madden Roethlisberger. So they start with a handoff to Le'Veon Bell, the second year player who broke out in a big way this year. It's second down and three now. Gradkowski over the middle finds Lance Moore for a first down. Pittsburgh moving the chance. Now close to midfield, Gradkowski. Stepping up and now throwing, he finds Lance Moore again. So far his favorite receiver. He's thrown it twice. Both times have been to Lance Moore. Wonder when we're going to see Antonio Brown involved. They go handoff right side to Le'Veon Bell. He's got space across the 20. Down at the 10-yard line. A 20-yard rush for Le'Veon Bell. Getting them inside the red zone. It is now second down and goal. Gradkowski. Stepping up, throwing on the run, finds Heath Miller in the back of the end zone. It did not take Pittsburgh long to score the first points on this one. And of course, Heath Miller in the red zone. Bill Cowher knows that. I'm sure he told the defense that, but he just couldn't cover, and he even fell when he started his route. Touchdown, Pittsburgh, and now Jacksonville comes out, trying to see if they can answer. Handoff will go to Gerhardt. He spins away from first contact, but is brought down by Lawrence Timmons. I don't think he gained anything there. Third down and 10 now. Split shotgun look for Bortles. Throwing. Finds Mercedes Lewis, but he gets... Actually, he loses one yard. So, three not again for Jacksonville. Not a good start for our offense. Always starting slow, it seems. Gradkowski to the air on first down. Finds Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield. And a nice job wrapping up by Ball. That one could have gone for some yards. Shotgun look with Le'Veon Bell to his right. Gradkowski throwing, and he misses Antonio Brown on third down and eight. Pittsburgh will have to punt. Antonio Brown still without a catch. Jacksonville's turn from their 14. They've got to get something going. Pass out to Marquise Lee, and I guess that's one way to do it, but he only gets four yards on that play. We've got to throw it to Marquise Lee. Hand off middle for Toby Gerhardt on second down and six. He'll gain 11 yards with that run. Good job by Gerhardt getting the first down, and we move the chains finally. First and 10 empty set. Throwing it out for, I believe that is Allen Robinson making the catch. He doesn't get much, though. You just start throwing it downfield a little bit. Second down and six. Again, handoff to Gerhardt. And again, he will get a first down. Seven-yard run there for Toby Gerhardt. Not a bad start. But now it is third down and 13. Bortles back to pass. Lobbing it deep. And Allen Robinson lost that one. He turned around but could not find the football. And again, Jacksonville punts. First and ten. They go handoff to Le'Veon Bell. But he is met by Geno Hayes and a swarm of Jacksonville defenders. He loses three on that play. It is third down and eight now. Can we make a stop? Gradkowski throwing left side, and Antonio Brown can't make the catch. Good coverage by Dwayne Gratz. We have held him catchless through the first. Jaguars trying to take over, and again, just a soft throw underneath for Mercedes Lewis. He maybe gained two. Second down and eight. Can we throw it downfield now? Gradkowski throwing it deep. Almost intercepted. Troy Polamalu had his hands on it. Ace Sanders was the intended receiver. It's a third down and eight. Play action pass. Sliding right. Throwing and he just misses a wide open Mercedes Lewis. Blake Bortles has had a pretty ugly start to this one. Five for 11 for 11 yards. It's not what you like to see. 
Lucky for us, Pittsburgh's offense has been stopped pretty much by our defense, except for the first drive. It's second down and six now, Gradkowski. Back to pass. He finds Heath Miller along the left side, and he'll get a first down and more on that play. Shotgun look, bell to the right. And he goes draw, but Gino Hayes is all over him. Gino Hayes has been stopping Le'Veon Bell early in this one, and that is a great tackle there by Gino Hayes. Sending up third down and ten now. Shotgun again for Gradkowski. Pressure incoming, but he gets the throw off, and he just overthrows everyone. Antonio Brown had a step on the defenders, but Gradkowski could not hit him. Jacksonville again takes over. Empty set backfield. And a nice throw and a nice catch by Cecil Schultz, who got speared out of midair by Troy Palomalu. We finally move the chains. Second and ten handoff will go to Gerhardt. He breaks the Palomalu tackle and is brought down by Ryan Shazier, the rookie. He doesn't get anything, so third down and ten. Bortles over the middle. Finds Allen Robinson, and he's going to come up short on this play. I believe it will be one yard shy, so again we punt. Offense has just been completely stale in the first. And there's a nice tackle by Sen Derek Marks on Le'Veon Bell, already with 12 rushes, but only 42 yards. Second and 10, and again they will go to Le'Veon Bell, who breaks a tackle out of the backfield, and it takes four Jacksonville Jaguars to bring him down. No gain again. That was an impressive display by Le'Veon Bell. Third down and eight, but Garrett Blunt checks in, and they just throw a quick pass to Heath Miller, and it works. First down, Pittsburgh. Uh, second down and 12, Gradkowski. Quick throw. Oh, Puzlesny, come on. Misses his wide receiver, and that just bounced right off Puzlesny's hands. He's got to intercept that. Third down and 12, setting up a screen out to Bell. And he's going nowhere. Nice tackle in the backfield. And Pittsburgh will punt. That ends their drive there. Jacksonville, after holding, they start out second down and 17. And Bortles barely gets that pass off. Stephon to it was all over him. Third down and 17. Can we convert? We go screen. And there's a bounced off tackle by Toby Gerhardt. And Toby Gerhardt will get the first down. Shazier thought he could just throw him down. Toby Gerhardt is way too strong of a runner. Those legs just keep churning. You see it right there. He just bounced off that tackle. And then he was given plenty of space. So, Pittsburgh finally with a big play. And now we go a quick pass out to Cecil Shorts. That'll be a first down for Jacksonville. Moving the chains. As time is starting to run out in the second. Bortles going to the air, lobbing it deep, has a man, yes, Marquise Lee isn't even a surprise anymore, this kid is just too good, and Mike Tomlin cannot believe it, we're going to look at this, Cortez Allen got turned around for a split second, and that is all Marquise Lee needed from that play, tie ball game after that big play by Marquise Lee, and now with 236, Pittsburgh does have a chance to get some points on the board. Second and four now, Pittsburgh. Gradkowski back to pass. And guess who? Red Bryant in the backfield with the sack. He has been so hot to start. Hitting quarterbacks left and right. Now third down and eight. Gradkowski to pass. He's just going to throw it out of the backfield to Bell, who will break one tackle. It takes two Jaguars to bring him down, but they do. He will not get the first down. So that will take us to halftime. We have had a pretty uh, defensive game as we have a score of 7-7 seven to seven going into the half. We'll have to see what Jacksonville can do, see if we can hopefully pull ahead. This Pittsburgh defense has been pretty solid despite being the worst passing offense in the league. I think part of that you might want to blame on just, you know, a rough start for Blake Portals, but we've got to get this one turned around in the second half. We'll see what we can do. Welcome back to the second half. Pittsburgh will get the ball, and it's Scobie kicking it away to the speedster rookie, Dree Archer. He'll take it from his own goal line, and Dree Archer up past the 20. will be brought down at the 24-yard line, and that's where Pittsburgh's offense will come out. Not a bad return for Archer. First down and 10, Le'Veon Bell, left side shotgun. Pressure incoming, Gradkowski will throw it out to Le'Veon Bell, who will try to spin away from a tackle, but he steps out of bounds. Shy of the first down. Second down and three, empty set backfield for Gradkowski. And he's going to take off and run. This is uh, it's not what I'm used to seeing, but a seven-yard run for Bruce Gradkowski. All right, first down, Pittsburgh. Shotgun again for Gradkowski. He's been playing a lot of shotgun today. Throws it right side. He finds Lance Moore. What a juke move across midfield. The 40, the 30, and Lance Moore finally shoved out of bounds across the 25-yard line. And this was embarrassing. Jabari Greer got his Ankles broken right here by Lance Moore. 
Oh my god. What a move by Lance Moore. Old man still got it. First down and 10. Handoff will go right side to Le'Veon Bell. And he's brought down by Jonathan Cyprian. A nice open field tackle made there. He only gains four. So third down and five. Pittsburgh could at least settle for a field goal. But you know they want more. But they're not getting it. Sacked by Red Bryant. Forcing fourth down and 13. They kick the field goal. Pittsburgh has taken a three-point lead, and now Jacksonville's turn. They dump it off underneath to Allen Robinson. He runs towards the first down marker, but he will be inches shy. Now third down and two, handoff to Toby Gerhardt, bouncing through tackles, getting a first down, a gain of seven on that run. He's eight for 35. Not bad for Gerhardt. Empty set for Bortles. Going to the air, downfield, finds Marquise Lee. That'll get him into Pittsburgh territory. A big catch for Marquise Lee. First down and 10, handoff middle, go to Toby Gerhardt, and he'll gain about 7 on that play. Another nice run for Gerhardt. Third down now, Bortles. Quick pass, caught by Mercedes Lewis, and they continue to move the chains, but Mercedes Lewis is down. Even a little hurt, brought down by Sean Spence. Second down and 10 now, Clay Harbor in the game. Bortles, back to pass. Throwing left side for the end zone, and he just overthrows everyone. Marquise Lee had a step on Ike Taylor. But he couldn't get to him. Lewis already back in the game. Third down and 10. Throwing it to Mercedes Lewis. And he can't hold on in coverage. Had a good chance to make that catch, but just couldn't do it. Jacksonville settles for a field goal. And we've got ourselves a 10 to 10 tie. Very low scoring affair between these two teams. Gradkowski throwing out right side, though, to Heath Miller. That'll be a quick gain of seven on first down. Gradkowski's done pretty good filling in for Ben Roethlisberger. He certainly isn't Ben Roethlisberger. But he's been able to do a fairly good job. Hasn't made any big mistakes. And Pittsburgh's in this one. It's a tie ball game. After first down run by Le'Veon Bell. It's shotgun again. Gradkowski. And there's a big sack for Jonathan Cyprian. Coming off the edge. He just came in completely undetected. And Gradkowski just should have thrown that away. And what a hit by Cyprian. It's second down and 17. They'll go handoff now to Le'Veon Bell. A nice juke move. Sliding through tackles. And he's brought down after a gain of 11. He'll get the sack yardage back and more. So manageable third down and six now for Pittsburgh. Gradkowski throwing left side. And what a catch by the ex-Steeler and now Steeler, San Antonio Holmes. That's right. He's back in Pittsburgh. Second down and five. Quick throw underneath for Antonio Brown. He makes his first catch. And it took him almost three-fourths of the game. But... He will be shy of the first down marker. Jacksonville. Trying to stack a stop. It's third down and two. Handoff to Le'Veon Bell, but he will get the first down. A nice run there by Bell. He is so good. Second down and seven now. Jacksonville, they've got to make something happen. Pressure incoming, but it's just a dump underneath to Le'Veon Bell. And that's what I'm talking about. Not only can he run, he can receive. Now they're going to hand it off to him again. Le'Veon Bell, it takes another four Jaguars to bring him down, but he does finally go down. Third down and five, shotgun. Setting up the screen now for Le'Veon Bell. Screen out to Bell. He's got blockers. Up across the 15, down inside the seven-yard line. Le'Veon Bell, a big play there. But Garrett Blunt checks in. Handoff, middle. Look, Garrett Blunt gets thrown down. He only will get four on that play. Nice tackle made by Jonathan Cyprian. Second and goal, Blunt still in. Quick pass, and he misses! Antonio Brown out of step. Jabari Greer, you probably shouldn't be celebrating that because he had you beat. Just a bad throw there. It's third down and goal now. Shotgun look. Le'Veon Bell to the left side. They're going to hand it off. Le'Veon Bell, and he's just going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers, as they take the touchdown lead as we are into the fourth quarter. Jacksonville's got to find an answer, and they've got to find one quick. That's not going to be it. Bortles trying to escape, and he's brought down by Stephon Tuitt. He was able to avoid one sack, but could not outrun Stephon Tuitt. It is second down and 18 now. Bortles hit as he throws, and that one will fall incomplete. This offense is going absolutely nowhere right now. There you go. Pittsburgh third in the NFL in takeaways, but they haven't had any this game, which is good. It's a pause side. Third down and 18, lobbing it. Troy Polamalu should have had that one, though. That should have been an interception for Polamalu. Instead, we punt, and Pittsburgh gets really good field position. Starting from their own 46. Long drop back, throws it to Heath. Funny, and brought down near the 15-yard line. A big throwing catch from Heath Miller, and that'll get him right back into the red zone. First down and 10. Handoff, Le'Veon Bell. 
brought down by a swarm of jaguars. He doesn't gain much there, if anything. Second and ten now. Three receivers stacked to the right. Throwing. Has a man. Caught. Touchdown. Antonio Brown. What a throw by Gradkowski. And what a catch by Brown in the corner of the end zone. we got to take one more look at this. He's able to find a hole in the zone coverage. And a perfect throw over Puzlesny. And then an even more perfect catch by Antonio Brown. Pittsburgh now with a two touchdown lead. With 8.07 we've got to get something going. Bortles throwing right side. And there's Allen Robinson down into Pittsburgh territory, and that is a good way to start. Jacksonville trying to get something going here. Bortles. Pressure incoming, and he barely gets that one off. That was Jason Worlds on his back, so third down and seven. Bortles throwing over the middle, and he completely missed Marquise Lee. Mike Mitchell almost with the interception. Fourth and seven. They got to go for it here. Jaguars, quick throw, and what was that, Bortles? Ugliest throw I think I've ever seen come from Blake Bortles. Let's see this. Yep, just throws it at the feet. Pittsburgh now with a big opportunity to put this one away. Handoff will go to Le'Veon Bell, and Le'Veon Bell's got space. A big gain of eight that'll get him to midfield. It's third down and three. LeGarrette Blunt. can we make a stop here on third down? Gradkowski throwing, can't be caught by Matt Spath, and then almost intercepted by Ball. So we forced the three and out. Now we have 444 to get two touchdowns. We're running out of time, and there's another bad throw from Blake Bortles. What are you doing, Bortles? Third and 12. Can we convert? Going downfield. Yes! Caught by Ace Sanders. That'll be a 23-yard pitch and catch. Maybe look at the comparison. Bortles and Greg Kowski with similar numbers. Bortles has completed one less pass and also thrown 10 more times, though. Bortles to the air, plenty of time. He finds Marquise Lee. Well, that'll be a first down into Pittsburgh territory. First and ten. Now they go handoff. Gerhardt. He's got some space up the middle, and that'll be a first down. Not sure why they're running with the timed situation where it is right now. Bortles to the air, all the time in the world throwing, and I do not know how he just completed that pass to Mercedes Lewis. Holy cow! First and ten from the twenty-two. A little more than two minutes to go. Bortles. Going to the air, lobbing it up. Mercedes Lewis! What a catch in triple coverage, and that will cut this lead in half. Jacksonville now will need to make a stop on defense. Let's look at this catch one more time. What a play from Mercedes Lewis. Now, can we stop Le'Veon Bell and this Pittsburgh offense? Gradkowski passing it on first down, and that'll move the chains to the fullback who refuses to go down. That'll take him to the two minute warning. Now we've got to start using our timeouts. It's second down and six. Handoff will go middle to Le'Veon Bell, and he'll be stopped by Chris Clemens. we got one more timeout, and it's third down and four. The bruiser, LeGarrette Blunt in the backfield. They've got three tight ends, two left, one right. Can we make a stop on third down and four? Handoff will go to Blunt. He gets the first down, but there's a flag on the play. This could be huge for us, and it might be going against Pittsburgh. They're showing a Pittsburgh player. Yes! Holding against Pittsburgh, they do not get the first down, and that was the game right there. Third down and 14, now they're just going to go hand off to Bell, and he's going to get some good space, but brought down after only a gain of six. So Jacksonville, after getting lucky there, they get the ball right back. It's first down and 10 from the 23. They've got to go 77 yards, and that's a nice catch by Mercedes Lewis in traffic, and he'll run that forward for 16 yards. Blake Bortles starting to get a good drive going. First and 10. They go screen out to Cecil Shorts, and he'll get a first down getting out of bounds. A minute eight on the clock now is there at midfield. Split shotgun look for Bortles. Loading up and looking deep. Has a man. It's more Keasley. Breaks the tackle. Are you kidding me? More Case Lee. Another touchdown. And we're going to take another look at this burning Cortez Allen again. He went to make a move as Allen Robinson cut inside, and that is all Marquise Lee needed. Beautiful touchdown for Marquise Lee. This is a tie game with 58 seconds, and you know Pittsburgh's going to try something. Gradkowski going to the air. Spinning, throwing, almost intercepted by Ball. That could have been it. And Pittsburgh needs to get to at least the 31-yard line for Sean Sweezum to make this kick. Third down and 10, they're just going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. And they do not get there. So they let the time tick. Down to eight seconds to go, and they're going to punt this one. We will have a little bit of time. Jordan Todman calls the fair catch. 
Jacksonville with two seconds on the clock. I don't know why they're showing Josh Scobie's target line. We won't have time. Might as well. Hail Mary time for Jacksonville. Can we make a miracle happen? Bortles, back the pass, loading it up, looking deep. It's Marquis Lee breaking the tackle. Are you kidding? Marquis Lee, three touchdowns in a game. This kid is something else. What a job splitting the defensive zones. Makes the big catch here. And, of course, another broken tackle from Marquise Lee. You guys, it's just impossible to tackle this guy from behind. What a job by Marquise Lee. A walk-off fashion win for Jacksonville. They scored 21 unanswered in the fourth quarter for the win. Wow. I am... Ugh. Words cannot explain how good Marquise Lee is right now. This is... This kid's a rookie. That is, that's probably the scariest part, the fact that Marquise Lee is just a rookie. And he is already burning defenses left and right. Granted, this was the worst-ranked pass offense in the league in the Steelers, but still. Three touchdowns. I know he had over 200 yards, because that last one went for, I believe, it was 76? I think it was 86, actually. A big play for Marquise Lee. And now let's go to the stats. Obviously, the never-say-never never moment. Looking at Blake Bortles. 23 for 41, finished with 419 through the air. Not a bad day for Bortles. Four touchdowns and no interceptions. His first game with that. Toby Gerhardt, 12 for 55 through the air. Mercedes Lewis, 7 for 61, but there it is. 6 for 232 yards and three touchdowns. Are you kidding me? What a pick for us. Of course, Heath Miller leading their team. On defense, Gino Hayes had 12 tackles. Big day for him in the sacks. Red Bryant with two and Jonathan Cyprian with that big hit on Gradkowski. No interception in this game. I don't think there were any turnovers. Now we move on. We play the 2-3 and three Titans, our first divisional game against the Titans. First of two. Should be a good one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Sir MC Coy. What a comeback win for the Jaguars who continue to win games by the skin of their teeth. Can we keep it up? My name is Sir MC Coy. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video. Tell me what you want to see next with this Jacksonville Jaguars team. We'll see you guys.